hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you guys how to get this gorgeous winter glow especially for those who are pregnant and is going through the dry skin phase like me if you want to see how I got this winter glow keep watching alrighty guys so I'm gonna show you how to get that winter glow with some of my products that I have here um, a lot of these products are very very affordable a few of them may cost a little bit more if you can not get the smaller size of them but uh, most of these products are very affordable because you know I'm affordable kind of gal please click that subscribe button down below turn it from red to gray to join my channel especially if you love this video or if you love me or just because you're so sweet <laughs> lastly if you guys really adore this cute headband which I am really digging this. I don't know what took so long for me to pick this guy up. This is a makeup headband, and that's literally the brand. I got it from TJ Maxx. It was only $3.99. It's really cute. I, this was the only color they had at the time, but I am going to go back and buy a few more because obviously it gets dirty because it protects your hair from any makeup or when you're getting facials and things like that. So shout out to TJ Maxx because this was a great find. Um... Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this video. So one of the first things you want to do um, to get a nice winter glow is obviously moisturize your face. So during the winter, your skin obviously gets drier than normal. And being pregnant, your skin gets drier than normal. That is just the thing um, with pregnancy and during the winter time. So it's okay if like you start to get drier skin during the winter. That means you need to switch up your moisturizer. So the moisturizer I already put on was my Yes to Cucumbers and it's a soothing sensitive skin calming night cream. Now I know it's not nighttime, but I had a daytime moisturizer which was really breaking my face out. So when I started using this one, I noticed that my breakouts wouldn't happen. But when I use the daytime one, it'll come back and it'll get worse. So I'm just using this one morning and night and it seems to calm down any acne I do have. So that's a good tip also if you find a really good moisturizer and it's only for night or only for day but you notice it makes your skin a lot better. You can probably use it for both. Um, I haven't had any issues with it so moving on. The next thing is to use a nice oil. So this moisturizer is really good. It brings a lot of moisture but it doesn't really add the oils that, that nice I don't know it doesn't really add something so I like to use my measurable difference hemp oil and I haven't placed this on yet because this helps combat a lot of the dryness even though with the moisturizer my skin is fairly moisturized I still have extra dry skin because of the pregnancy so I just like to put on a layer of protection and it comes with a dropper so I just put a little bit like literally I don't do the whole drop all over the face and I just kind of rub that in and a lot of my dryness is right here around the mouth and the nose area so you can always put a little bit extra and if you have oily skin don't worry this is not a heavy oil even if you are just wearing no makeup it's not a heavy oil at all so yeah so now my skin looks really shiny and oily and moisturized now I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera so I can just run through them real fast for you guys and then I'll come back and we'll do the makeup all right guys so my brows are done so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and get into is the Becca backlight priming filter um, basically primer this primer is supposed to give you that luminous glow it's supposed to smooth out the skin and help with any fine lines and pores so we're gonna see I haven't used this, um, this primer before. I have another primer that I use for um, a luminous glow, but I want to give this one a try. Um, and I did just get like the small version of it just in case if I didn't like it. And also, it feels really nice on the back of my hand and it dried down really well. So I'm just going to take some of this primer and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. It has a real nice silky feel. And I can see like that glow that it's really giving me. And so I'm going to do, I did my primer first so I can just kind of let it sit while I move into the eyes. So I'm just going to take some concealer to prime my lids like I always do. Um, 
Um, I feel like I look like a penny. I'm just shining so much. Instead of setting my concealer with a powder, I'm just going to use a eyeshadow that is similar to my skin tone anyways. And the whole look I'm going to do is from this MAC palette. And this is the Warm Neutral um, palette. You guys know I love this palette. It's a really nice palette and it has really nice warm golden tones in here. So I'm going to use the color Saddle to basically just, you know, as a transition color to kind of set that... Um, concealer and I'm just placing that over the crease and a little bit up close to the brow bone. Then I'm going to take a nice clean fluffy brush and just blend out the edges of that color. I'm just going to take this foundation powder from L'Oreal. It's like a really light yellow color um, just to kind of set that concealer and I'm using that clean fluffy brush that I had earlier and I'm just going to brush out those edges of that first eyeshadow and also kind of set the concealer that was under my brows so I'm going back into saddle because I want to make sure it's nice and blended out um, with this fluffy brush it's a little bit less dense than the other one to add some depth into my crease I'm going to take the shade dark brew and I'm going to place that into my crease. I'm not going to do too much of it because I still want the eye to be light and fresh. So I just want to deepen the crease a bit. Then I'm going to take that same fluffy brush from earlier and I'm just going to blend out the edges of that crease color. So to help my eyeshadow out a little bit, I am going to take this NYX and this is the Bright Idea illuminating stick this one's in the color sun kiss crush i really really love this stick because it has a nice natural glow but also it's very easy to use and i'm going to place this on the lid this is just simply acting as a base the eyeshadow i'm going to use out of this palette is amber lights and it's a very gold shadow this is like one of max popular gold eyeshadows um, and I'm going to place that mainly on the center of the lid. And I'm just going to leave that stick kind of on the outer corners. But I'm mainly going to place this on the center of the eyelid. Because that's where most of the light hits your face anyways. So I'm I want to help this transition at the top with the darker shade and the eyebrow highlight. So I'm just going to take my own foundation powder. <laughs> And I'm just going to blend it into um, that crease color and just help those edges out just a little bit more because I feel like it's a little too strong. And I really want this look to be very natural and fresh. Um, I don't want to add too many eyeshadows. I don't want to make it crazy. I don't want to make it too dark. So I'm literally just adding that right there. Okay, so my primer has dried and it doesn't feel sticky or anything but it still has that nice shine look it gives you that luminous glow that it promised that it was supposed to give you so the next i'm going to do is use my foundation because i have oily skin i tend to stray away from any like dewy foundations i don't care how much of a glow i want i refuse to buy a dewy foundation because even with a matte primer and the powder underneath my skin is still going to get very very oily so i chose the the foundation that has a little bit like less matteness if that makes any sense so i'm going to use the matte poreless foundation from maybelline i love the color it has like a nice golden undertone also it doesn't really like give you that full instant matte and it's just it's a not and it's not really too full coverage either so you still have that nice glowy kind of look so the only thing i hate is that it's not a pump you have to pour it so I'm just going to use this. I put a light layer of the foundation on and I have a pretty decent amount of coverage. And I can see the glow from the primer poking through just a little bit. I see some sparkles on my face so we'll see how it holds up throughout the day um, next for concealer 
I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep. And I'm also going to use my Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. And this is in um, Medium Dark 3. And I like both of these for a nice golden look because the Tarte one is very, very golden, as you can see. But sometimes it could be a bit too gold. So I go in with the NARS. And the NARS has more of like a nice creamy radiant um appearance and texture to it so i'm just going to use a bit of both um, i haven't done this in a while before my contour i'm just going to use some foundation from MAC. This is the Studio Sculpt in the color NW55. This is what I used to use to um, contour with. So I'm just going to use this to kind of add a little warmth to my face um, like I used to. And I literally, I literally used a drop of this to put in those areas. And I'm using a foundation like a liquid because it it's more natural than a powder it blends out a little bit better than the powder 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 would um, so that's why I'm just going to go ahead and use this and I'm using my contour brush from elf and I only placed a little bit because we want a nice natural contour and I know for a contour you want to have a gray undertone but I like how this one gives you that nice bronzy undertone I don't know it's something about this that's just it's really appealing and I'm just going back with my beauty sponge to kind of clean up and mush them kind of so together. to set my um pout, my concealer I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier powder um it also it just kind of mimics my skin tone and So I'm just going to dust off that excess. I'm not really baking this. And before I go into my own foundation powder, I'm going to take another foundation powder. This is the MAC NW43. This is the one I thought that used to match me, but it's a little too light. And I'm just going to brush that over my highlight area. It's a little bit lighter than my natural foundation powder. So I'm just going to brush that one over to add a little lightness and then I'm going to take my foundation powder from Laura, Mer uh, Laura Mercier, from Laura Michelle Cosmetics. For my bronzer, I'm just going to use this Becca Deep Bronze Powder to kind of bronze on my face because that um, foundation kind of disappeared a little bit so we want to bring a little bit more to our face. Beware, this powder is very strong, so I tap into it and I literally like dust off a lot of the excess and then I just gently go in to my face with this brush. So to help everything set, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. This is the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set Spray. It doesn't get as matte as my other spray, so that's why I like this one. Um, or you can just do the original one that they um, had before they came out with this one which also helps set your makeup but it doesn't give you a matte appearance this one doesn't really give me that matte appearance anyway so they're kind of similar just a tad bit different now I'm going to do mascara and put on my lashes and then we'll finish the rest of our face okay so I just put my lashes on and I think these are the Ardell 110s they're very very thin and they're very wispy but I like them because they're very natural looking so if you want something that has a little bit more drama then you can choose a different pair that fits your need so the next up is blush I have two options for blush um, one is the MAC Amber Ring Rose blush and the other one is the NYX Terracotta I love both of these blushes because they have a nice golden glow to them so I'm going to see how the NYX blush um, will work for this look. Um, I'm just really not sure which one I really want. So it's very subtle and it has like a nice glow. I don't know if you guys can see that. It gives your cheeks a nice glow. So I think I'm going to just mix both of them and just see what we get. 
And then I'm going to go in with the MAC one. And this one has gold into it, but it has a touch of pink. So I think by mixing both of these, you get a nice pretty look. But you can definitely just use one or the other. You don't have to buy both. You know? Highlight, I kind of like, I just didn't know like which highlighter I wanted. Like I have so many highlighters. But I decided to go with the obvious which is my ColourPop Wisp, Wisp highlighter it's very natural and I'm also going to place another highlighter on top of this one so I'm just going to take this with my finger and apply this on and I take a clean finger and I kind of brush it out but it applies a nice light glow I'm going to place this in the inner corners of my eyes I'm going to just take a small brush take some back on my finger add some you know on the collar collar area to give you that nice little glow you want that sun kiss glow and this one just gives you it's just so natural and fresh that it, it's not too overpowering I hope you guys can see that because I'm so zoomed in still and to kick it up just a notch if this is not enough glow for you I'm going to take the Anastasia glow kit and I'm going to take bronze, one of my favorite highlighters in this kit. And it's because it has that bronzy glow. It's not over, it's not white. And it, it has a little bit of gold, but it's really pretty. I'm just going to go right in there on the nose, the lip. I'm just barely touching it up. And then I'm going to come up down here. Kind of give myself a little bronzing, you know. For my lips, I'm just going to keep it nude, like always, because I'm boring. I'm going to take a brown lip pencil from NYX, which is called Espresso, to line my lips. pick that up now I'm gonna take the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in the color sandstorm and then I'm just gonna spray my face one more time with the elf makeup spray alrighty guys this is the final look so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you have a nice glow without too much makeup. And I don't know, I just feel like sometimes when I do my makeup, well, especially recently, my makeup has been looking very, very dull to me. And I think it's because of the dry skin, the winter weather, and everything, you know, that comes with this season. But overall, I really love this look. I think the primer is really nice. I can still see some of that glow coming through. Um, I'm not sure how it would hold up all day, but I really love how this came out without using too, too many products. Um, of course, some of the products are very optional, but I love this look and I hope you guys enjoy this look too. Um, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my recent post um, at the end of this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Bye guys. Bye.